I look at pizza as not just food. For me, pizza is a basic human right. It should be protected by the UN. And there's no reason, if you are gluten or wheat intolerant, that you should deprive yourself of this wonderful and delicious Italian invention. I'll show you how to make a delicious gluten-free pizza using Isabel's gluten-free pizza base mix. For this recipe, you will need one packet of Isabel's gluten-free pizza base mix, 200 milliliters of cold water, three tablespoons of olive oil, one large egg, and some cornmeal to help you roll out the dough. Pour the two sachets of mix onto a large bowl and add the water, the olive oil and the egg, lightly beaten. First stir slowly with your hands and then squeeze the ingredients together. Transfer the flaky dough onto a board and knead it until all the ingredients are incorporated and it's nice and flexible. This is actually a very quick recipe. I'm just taking my time while I wait for you to click on the thumbs up button below or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our future videos. Make a kind of a big sausage shape with your dough and cut it in three pieces. Then roll each piece into a bowl. The packet says you can make four pizza bases with it, but I'm going to be really greedy and make three big ones instead. Start rolling out your dough from a small disc and when it makes a bigger rounder shape, Use the cornmeal sprinkled over the table and the dough itself to make it slide and spread easier. Now, unless you worked at a pizza restaurant or you're very experienced with rolling pin, rolling out the dough into a perfect disc might elude you at first. But don't worry, just put a plate over it, cut it with a knife and voila, round pizza base. Now transfer your dough to a tray. I'm using one of these fancy pizza trays with holes in them, but if you don't have one, any thin tray will do. Stretch it out a bit, back to that lovely circular shape, and you're ready to start spreading your toppings. I'm starting with a really thick tomato paste, so I can have the most amount of tomato flavor with the least amount of moisture. Then I'm coming in with some parma ham. Hey, I said this was going to be gluten-free, not vegetarian. Then some fresh peppers, mini plum tomatoes, and some black olives. And finally, we are ready for some cheese. I'm using plain grated mozzarella here, but you can use any cheese you like. And for the finishing touches, some fresh cracked black pepper and a good sprinkling of dried oregano. Okay, our lovely pizza is now ready for the oven. We're going to leave it on the top shelf for 20 minutes until all the cheese has melted and all the toppings have cooked. Um, 200 centigrade or 180 if your oven is fan assisted, 400 Fahrenheit, gas mark six. And this little beauty will be all yours. Ta-da! And now for some finishing touches. Some fresh wild rocket, a tiny drizzle of olive oil, some more black pepper, a dash of salt, and your delicious, crispy, gluten-free pizza is ready to be cut and shared among friends. Or not. If you would like to get your hands on some of Isabel's gluten-free pizza base mix, you'll be happy to know it's available at many supermarkets and online. Just visit their website to find a store near you or to find out how to order it and have it delivered. And while you're there, check out the other products on Isabel's gluten-free range. The address is isabelsfreefrom.co.uk or follow her on Facebook or Twitter for great tips, recipes and news. And just before you dash off, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch our videos as soon as they come out. And do please check out some of my other video recipes on youtube.com slash nandukuka.